welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamie at Solano and I'm back with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, hello, hello. And if you're a returning subscriber and friend, what's Gucci girl? So for all my life, I've been struggling with combination skin. And for all the sisters and gays and girls out there who are just like me, who struggle with combination skin, girl, we we go through it. We go through it, honey. I have dry, patchy areas on my cheek areas and then my T-zone areas where it's like the most oily, honey. Like, it's basically like two different environments. It's like the desert here and then it's like the fucking ocean on my t-zone so for today's video i just wanted to do a tutorial on just kind of like what i do to help prep my skin and what products i use that help work best for me hopefully i don't have any types of issues with my skin and hopefully my products and techniques and strategies will help you all out also as well for those who are dealing with combination skin too. My eye makeup look is inspired by Euphoria. If y'all don't know what Euphoria is, get into it, honey. Like what? Um, Euphoria is a show on HBO and I've been completely obsessed. Like, oh my God. Um, definitely trying to channel in my inner Maddie vibes. Also kind of um, channel in Jules, basically, like Maddie and Jules or whatever. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I know I look a little goofy right now. I look like I'm about to go to clown college. As y'all can see, I already did my eye makeup and eyebrows for the purposes of the video because we're focusing more on just like the skincare and the base of the face. Okay, so what we wanna start first is a fresh canvas. I like to tone my face first with witch hazel and a cotton pad. I love using witch hazel because it really cleans my face and really goes deep into the pores, um, really ensuring that I have a fresh canvas to start. I also wash my face before I did all my eye makeup and eyebrows beforehand, so it's always good to start off with a very clean face. I don't put a lot of witch hazel on, maybe just like two drops. Make sure I'm collecting all the impurities off of my face. And as y'all can probably see, this is what was taken off from just like removing the makeup. And yeah, you wanna start off with a very clean and fresh face. Witch Hazel does the job, honey. Witch Hazel will do that for you. In my opinion, it works for my skin. This next step is like a very important step. You cannot skip this, okay? It's moisturizing. So for me, I like to personally use the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. What I really love about using this specific moisturizer is that it has SPF and that it's cheap, you know? So, and I definitely recommend using a moisturizer that has SPF in it. Like y'all, y'all know about that face up trend, right? That like makes you like look older. Basically, I look like this. And bitch, girl, I'm triggered. Like I do not want to look like that when I'm older. Like literally, it like triggered me. And so basically, after I saw all those wrinkles and like what I would look like if I was like 50 or whatever, um, I just started using SPF because girl, I, I do not want to have those wrinkles when I'm older. I just do one spritz basically. And massage it very carefully onto my skin. So I'm really focusing on applying the moisturizer on my drier areas, like here on my cheeks, just because they are what need the most fucking moisture, honey. Um, I don't really focus on moisturizing my T-zone or forehead as much, um, just because they get oily as hell. Um, but you gotta make sure that you're also getting every spot because girl we do not want wrinkles we do not want wrinkles honey okay y'all after you let the moisturizer sit in and your skin is feeling fresh like a baby the next step is to prime and so if you're like me and you have combination skin you're probably gonna have to be using two different types of primers and girl the makeup industry be taking our money honey but it's a must so the first primer that I'll be using is the Too Faced Hangover Hydrating Primer. So I add like two pumps of this primer. And what I love about this primer is that it has a coconut water base. And coconut water is so hydrating. And it's really good for like my cheek areas because my cheek areas, honey, be struggling. Like they be like thirsty as hell. Like, it looks like the desert basically when I apply foundation on my cheek areas. So I just like to, you know, give my face water. Next, I'm gonna be focusing on the Benefit 
professional and so this benefit professional is actually the matte rescue and so because my face is like very extreme it's like the desert on my cheeks and then basically like an oily mess on my t-zone um, i like to focus on attacking those areas with a matte primer just basically do a little dot smidge So we have these different areas just happening on our face right now. I'm just gonna let my primer sit in for like about a minute and it will go in and apply the foundation. Y'all, I'm so excited to talk about the foundation I'm using. I had just caught the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Pro Filter Foundation. Y'all, oh my God, I've been waiting to use Rihanna's Pro Filter Foundation for like the longest time. Before I couldn't use Rihanna's Pro Filter Foundation because it was really drying. Like again, like I have combination skin. When I used her foundation, it was really matte. And so my cheek areas were flaking and like fluffy. And it was really like hard for me because I love Rihanna. I love Fenty Beauty. I really wanted to use the foundation, but it just didn't work with my skin. And y'all, I'm so happy she just released this hydrating foundation. Yes, Lord, yes, Rihanna. Oh my God, we stand, we stand. So if you're like me and you are really struggling Struggling with kind of like dealing with oily skin and combination dry skin having a hydrating foundation will really help tackle those areas and some people like to mix and match the foundation for me I just like to stick with one foundation um, just so it's like even overall for my entire face and I think for me using a hydrating foundation really helps work best of both worlds because we're gonna bake anyways and using that powder will really help to tackle the oily areas so yeah this coverage honey so I can already tell that this foundation is doing really well with my dry skin I'm not seeing any flaking and it feels really good it actually feels like a moisturizer which is like really nice it's hard to find that holy grail foundation that's gonna work just for everything and I'm really loving this foundation Rihanna did that she always does that oh. she really catered to the target audience that is really suffering like me and y'all who are watching this video um, who need a foundation that isn't going to overly dry or overtly like flake your skin. So next up is just concealing. I'll be using my Master Conceal by Maybelline New York. <laughs> I don't even know, girls. I'm not a makeup artist, obviously. Okay, next I'll be contouring with my Anastasia Contour Powder Kit. I love being like dramatic with my contour too. I think it just like really gives you that look, that emphasis look, you know? I don't know. Now we're gonna be snatching the nose and I actually use a totally different brush when I'm snatching my nose. Okay, next is just the light baking. We're gonna be using the Airspun Translucent Powder. I love this powder because it's like cheap as hell. You can get it at Walmart for like $3, I think. And it like lasts a lifetime. Oh my God, I'm just like Rue. Basically, Bobby Crackhead. Just kidding. <laughs> I like to start off with baking my forehead and T-zone because they are what need the translucent powder the most because they get the most oily. Um, and I don't hold back, honey. I don't hold back for my forehead. I don't hold back for my nose just because they be getting oily, sis. They be getting oily. This is like a good strategy for anyone who has combination skin. So just like start off with the forehead first for when I am applying in my cheek areas, just kind of like more focusing on the nose because I get oily in this area, but not here. So I try to just be really light and gentle and mainly just put excess powder on my cheek areas so that it is powdered, but not that much, you know? Okay, and I just like to take a brush and just brush everything off. Okay, and that's a wrap. So basically that's the end of the video. <laughs> um, Thank you all again for watching my YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed my combination tutorial 
type video. Um, I hope it was really helpful for all y'all who are struggling with combination skin just like me. If this video was entertaining and nice and helpful for you, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, join the fam, and subscribe. Um, and make sure also if you have any types of feedback or comments regarding the video make sure to also comment down below i'd love to hear what y'all think um what types of you know tricks work best for you if you're dealing with combination skin or if you have you know dry or oily skin like you know what tips help for you i'm always trying to improve my daily skincare routine and my makeup techniques so i'd love to hear what everyone else does so without further ado thanks again for watching and yep tune in next time Mwah. deuces